Debenhams here is closing. It's leaving Eastbourne after nearly half a century, with a loss of around 120 jobs. It joins Mothercare that closed last week with a loss of around 50 jobs or so. The Debenham site is a huge site and it's called an anchor site, and that means that other traders in town rely on the site that is in Debenhams to bring people in to shop in their shops. So its loss is keenly felt by some. I think it's awful. It's a, such a shame. It's a lovely shop. I've uh, shopped in it most of my life that I've lived here. So, yeah, shame. No, they're too expensive to buy stuff. Right. If they drop their prices, then maybe you know, things might look a bit better. But in a way, I'm glad they're going. I think it's very sad. I think we've just lost a lot of trade down this end of the, the town. I think it's bad for the town. I just think, you know, it's been here forever sort of thing. And uh, it's sad because it does bring a lot of footfall down here. And for other retailers around, it helps us as well. The Chamber of Commerce have been behind something called The Bid, which is the Business Improvement District, which sits in the centre of town, and is designed to bring more people into town to spend more money in the retail stores. I've been speaking with Stephen Holt, who's the chair of the Bid Committee, to ask him exactly how he thinks this is going to help Eastbourne. Over five years, Eastbourne Bid will raise £1.5 million, and that's all generated by the local economy and the local businesses, and that will be then spent on town centre improvements. So it will be things like uh, providing security for businesses, it will be things like evening lightning, it will be things like events in the town centre. Councillor David Tutt, Lib Dem leader of Eastbourne Council, thinks that it's unlikely that another large store will reuse the Debenham site. He thinks it could be used for a different purpose though. Well, so it could be used as partly uh, housing accommodation, uh, we've got a large housing need, so you might end up with something with uh, ground floor being used for retail and upper floors being used, as you say, either for offices or for housing. With 20 shops at least looking to be rented within this small area, Eastbourne's hoping that with this business improvement district, they can bring people back to town and away from the internet. I'm Chris Dabbs, Eastbourne, Brighton Broadcaster News.